All right, so what I'm going to show you is how to create one of these little cutoffs like this. Okay, now in Inventor, we used to just make a plane and then split the plane, and it would let you just cut it off of the plane. But for what we're doing now, we just have to make a plane that goes through the shape and then make a sketch on that plane. That sketch we'll make on the plane will just be like random size as long as it encompasses the entire uh, part we want to cut off. And once we make that giant blob on that plane, we just hit extrude and remove it. Okay, so I'm going to do that down here. Okay, now what you have to do is create um, some, you have to create a couple points. Okay, so now this may say like uh, this bottom cutoff is like 10 millimeters up here and 30 millimeters back here and then the full depth. Okay. So you take that information and then you have to put in points. Okay, so I'm going to make a new sketch on this surface. And this one, so the point is right here. It's a little dot point. I'm going to drop one here and one here. Then I'm going to dimension these points. Hi, Lucas. So what I'm doing is showing you guys how to make these clipped corners. Okay. Um, so I put in two points. According to my drawings, it said that this point, so dimension corner to corner, uh, oh, this one's in, in uh, inches, so that's fine. Let's say it, it told me this one was half an inch up. We'll say this one is an inch away. Okay, so now I got these two points. Uh, if I was doing this full corner clipped off, I don't need to put a third point in here. I can just uh, use what's there. If it was in a little bit, well, then I'd have to put a new point on another sketch over here. Okay, so I got those two points. I finish. Now, we're looking for something called plane. So instead of just having an X, Y, and Z plane, now we're going to put in this weird three-point plane. Okay, so here's the plane tool. Now, we don't want an offset plane, which we'll use offset planes eventually. We want a three-point plane. Okay, three-point plane. And guess what I'm going to go click on? those three points. One, two, three. Check mark. Now it has made a plane going through those three points. Okay. Now, like I said, in Inventor, we used to be able just to split the plane. I haven't quite figured out an efficient way to do that in odd shape. So what we do now is just create a sketch on that funky plane. And then as long as that sketch has some shape on it, that's big enough to cut this off, we're good. So, you know what, I wonder if we did a, even a circle. You know, the shape doesn't matter. We're just gonna extrude it off. And then it'll all disappear. So let's hit okay. That's encompassing the whole chunk that we wanna take off. So to extrude, we're gonna click on that circle. <laughs> we don't wanna add that, we wanna remove. Okay, so we click remove. And we want to go the other way. Okay, so I just click the arrow to change the direction. Cool, that's looking good. I hit my check mark. Boom. Corner is gone. Okay, now uh, just from a cleanliness standpoint, if you want to hide some of these ghost images and these planes, you just go over here. A lot of times whenever you see like a plane or a sketch uh, visible, like it's black, that means it's a sketch that we haven't created any kind of 3D geometry off of, which we didn't really create 3D geometry off those points. We just use the points to make a plane. So it's not a consumed sketch. Turn the little eyeball off, and then you'll see your drawing start to look a little prettier. We'll turn that sketch off. Now we got rid of those. You'll also note that I hid my X, Y, and Z planes. That's just uh, preference, okay? That was just a right click on the planes and I got rid of them for demonstration purposes. I can show you that at a later date if you would like. Okay, so that's all we did was create a new sketch on the surface, put in two points using the point tool. Uh, we finished that sketch, went to the plane tool. From the plane tool, we pulled down to a three-point plane. Click, click, click. Make a new sketch on that plane, make some kind of shape. Boom, extrude. Um, Last step would be to put our name on it. New sketch, text. 
Mr. K. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can dimension text too. Okay. So I can grab my dimension tool from here to here. Sweet. And you can also use it for location dimensions. So I want this to be an inch away, whatever you want it. Okay. So you size that up. Let's extrude that. Oops. Click on it. Extrude. Yeah. Point one. Sure. All right. And that's it.